Hi, welcome back to my channel Nest Bags and Cooks. Today I have come up with a new recipe that is how to make a cheesecake. But this one is very different. It's my own version. So if you want to know the recipe, please watch the video till the end patiently. So let's get started. In this plate, I have taken around 50 pieces of biscuits. You can take any biscuit of your choice. If you want, you can use even Oreo biscuit also. Here, I have taken some salted biscuits. So this, I'm going to crush it first. So in this way, I have crushed, you can see. I'm going to put into this mold. Here, I have around 50 gram of melted butter. I'm going to mix them together. And with the help of the spoon, I'm going to press the mixture. So you can see how I have pressed it. It's done now. I'm going to keep this in the fridge for around 10 to 15 minutes until it's nicely set. In the meantime, let's start with the other items. Here I have one small sized beetroot, which I've already washed and peeled from before. I'm going to slice them into small pieces like this. Now I add around 200 ml of water. This I'm going to boil for around 2 to 3 minutes. So it's done. Now I'm going to switch off the gas. Once it cools down, I'm going to make a puree of this. So I've put it in the jar. I'm going to grind it in the mixture grinder. So this is the puree, you can see. I'm using the same saucepan which I've used to boil the beetroot. Into this I pour around 400 ml of fresh milk. Now I add two and a half teaspoons of agar-agar powder. If you don't have agar-agar powder, you can even use gelatin also. This I'm going to place it on the stove. Now I'm going to add the homemade cheese cream, around 150 gram, and the other 150 gram. I'm going to keep it for the next page. Now I'm going to add around 4 teaspoons of sugar. Sugar you can add as per your taste. So here I add the sugar. Four teaspoons. Now I'm going to boil this for around 10 to 15 minutes so that the agar-agar powder is completely dissolved in the liquid. I add around one teaspoon of vanilla essence. I have boiled it for nearly 10 minutes. So now I'm going to add the beetroot puree.
and boil for another 5 minutes. So all together, I'm going to boil for around 15 minutes. It's done now. I'm going to switch off the gas. I've taken out the mold from the fridge after 15 minutes. You can see it's nicely set. So now I'm going to pour the beetroot cheese cream into this. This I'm going to pop it inside the fridge and let it set for some time. So in the meantime, let's shift to our next step. In this saucepan, I'm going to pour around 500 ml of fresh milk. Now I add 2 teaspoons of agar agar powder. And around 3 teaspoons of sugar. Sugar you can add as per your taste. Now I'm going to add the homemade cheese cream, which I have kept it aside, half of it. Half I have added in the beetroot and half I have kept it for this. It's 150 gram. If you want to know the recipe of this homemade cheese cream, I'll share you the link in the description box. You can check it out from there. Now I'm going to place this on the stove. I'll cook this for around 10 to 15 minutes till the agar agar powder is completely dissolved. We have to keep on stirring continuously so that it will not clump up at the bottom. Now I'm going to add around one teaspoon of vanilla essence. So now you can see that it's boiling nicely. So I have boiled for around 10 minutes. So I'm going to switch off the gas. I've taken out the mold from the fridge. It's completely set. So now I pour the milk cheese cream on top of it. Now I'm going to pop this again inside the fridge and let it sit for around four to five hours or until it's nicely set. So here it is. I have kept it for around five hours. I'm going to loosen the sides. This is a detachable mold, so it's very easy to loosen the sides. I'm going to lift it slowly. Here it is. I'll put it on a plate. And after that, I'll zoom and show you the sides. Wow, so mesmerizing, isn't it? Look at the glaze. I'll cut a slice of it and show you the inside also.
Look. So beautiful inside also, isn't it? I'm sure you will try to make this beetroot cheesecake. It's very simple to make and believe me, it's very tasty and yummy. So if you like watching my video, please give a thumbs up, share and subscribe. And yes, please do comment also. And please don't forget to press the bell icon so that whenever I upload any new videos, you will get the notifications. Thank you so much for watching my video patiently till the end.